Hello everyone, I'm back. I know it's been a while and um, a lot of you have really missed my videos and sent me lots of lovely comments about them. So first of all, I just wanted to say thank you for that. The second thing is I wanted to give you a little bit of an update about what's been going on and um, what I'm gonna be doing in the future because behind the scenes, I have been making quite a lot of changes. So to answer the question about why I stopped making videos, there were a few reasons and I did mention these in my newsletter. Um, there were some quite nasty comments that I had. Um, I felt like there was a little bit of online bullying going on. I'm not going to go into all the details here because I, as I say, I did mention it in my newsletter and I did get some lovely comments back from um, all bar one person who um, still felt they had to have their say. So um, that was one of the reasons. The other reason was that last year was a very difficult year. There was a lot going on behind the scenes and it got to August when I was making two videos a week and it all kind of got to me a little bit and I didn't really have what you would call a proper break last year. I know a lot of people don't and I'm not complaining because I know there's a lot of people who are a lot worse off than I am but we took two weeks off last year. The first week um, was in May and I was ill for the whole time that we were away up in Sky. I thought I had COVID, but I didn't, luckily. Um, and then the second week that we took away in Devon was lovely, but right in the middle of it, I had quite a traumatic experience, which I'm not going to go into. I'm not going to bore you with all the, all the details of last year, but safe to say by the end of the year, I was feeling pretty washed out, pretty exhausted. And um, when we started this new year, I really could not get back into work or feeling like my usual self. I really did struggle for um, quite a good few weeks. And the problem with that is when you're feeling like that, it's very hard to put on a happy face, come online and chat about, you know, clothes and they are things that are important, don't get me wrong. I do believe that the way you look and how you feel about how you look is really, really important. But um, I wasn't feeling like that myself. I didn't want to get up, get dressed, put makeup on and get in front of a camera. So it was very difficult for me to project that when I wasn't feeling it myself. So that's another reason. Um, I was also feeling pretty exhausted because of everything that had gone on last year. I had let myself get out of shape. I would stopped doing the exercise that I'd got into and I realised that the exercise wasn't just about um, how I felt physically. It was also about how I felt mentally because when I go out walking, I listen to podcasts, I find them really uplifting, I listen to topics which inspire me, and I hadn't been doing any of that. So not only was I not feeling good physically, I wasn't feeling very good mentally either. And so those are just some of the reasons really why I felt that I couldn't do my YouTube videos any longer. Now, since then, I have made some changes. I have got back into my walking. I've started to get fit again. I've also started working on um, my diet and um, my self-care. I know it's one of those sort of woo-woo words, but it is really important, especially when you've got lots of other things going on, because I've said this before. You can't put somebody else's oxygen mask on if you haven't put your own on first. You know, you have to be in a mentally physical, uh, you have to be in a mentally fit state to be able to help other people. And that's really what my business was all about from day one when I started it almost 12 years ago now. It was about helping other women like me feel better about themselves. And Towards the middle of last year, it started to be more about um, the YouTube algorithm and which videos were going to rate best and what people were commenting on and, you know, building up that momentum of building a channel instead of the things that perhaps I really wanted to talk about. 
So going forward, I am going to be making some more videos. I do enjoy making them, but I won't be chasing the algorithm anymore. I'm going to be making videos about the topic that I started my business on all those years ago, which is helping other women who are 50 plus look and feel good. So um, if that's something that you're interested in, then please stick with me. I don't know how at the moment this schedule is going to go. I don't know how often I'm going to be doing these videos, uh, but I will be making some more. I will be going back to doing my weekly newsletter. Um, I didn't do one last week and I felt really bad about it. I missed it. I will be going back to doing outfit ideas, the things that you really love. But what I won't be doing is being dictated to by people who um, feel that they have an opinion about my business and are not really um, one of my people, I would say. So those of you who've stuck around with me over the last few weeks and months, thank you very much. You are the people that I will be making these videos for, that I will be making content for. And um, hopefully then they are going to be things that are going to be of interest to you. So just again to say thank you very much for sticking with me. Um, things are improving. I'm not going to go into the details of everything that I'm doing because I will be sharing more of that with you coming soon, but I don't feel ready to do that at the moment. So I just wanted to say if you are um, looking forward to seeing more videos from me, seeing me back as I was before, to a certain extent I will be, there will be some changes but I hope that you will enjoy them and that you'll continue to come along for the ride with me. So thanks very much and I will be back with you again soon. See you then. Bye for now.